Florida City of Forest Park Council meeting number 1333 April 1 2019 let us stand for the pledge please I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all the clerk call the roll please Burns here Collins here Herbie here Holt here Johnson here Moore here Nuss here let the record show that all members are present and accounted for. Next item on the agenda is the minutes. Uh, you all should have received a copy of the minutes in your packets. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? Hearing none, the minutes will stand approved as presented. Item three would be presentations. Before we go to presentations, I would like to take a moment to present to and introduce uh, the new city manager for the city of Forest Park, Mr. Don Jones. And let's welcome Mr. Jones, and hopefully he will be with us for a long, long time. Thank you. Next item is item number three, presentations. We have two presentations, the first of those being a presentation of a plaque. Uh, Mrs. Pat Burley. Yep. Forest Park City Council recognizes Pat Burley for outstanding dedication and loyal service to the city of Forest Park as chair, vice chair, and member of the Civil Service Commission, February 7, 2000 to November 30, 2018. Congratulations and thank you very much for your service. Thank to you. Us. Thank you. I just want to say thank you very much and thank you for my family being present as well. Um, I enjoyed working on the Civil Service uh, Commission and may be back there one day. But thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Our second presentation is a proclamation to uh, Hamilton County Commissioner. Stephanie Somal Dumas, former mayor of Forest Park. This is an absolute pri privilege, first of all. Thank you. Uh, whereas Stephanie Sumro Dumas was born and raised in Avondale, Ms. Sumro Dumas moved to Forest Park in 1984, where she now resides. And whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas is a licensed social worker, entrepreneur, federal grant reviewer, certified healthy relationship facilitator, author, and politician, and whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas has over 40 year history as a licensed social worker in the field of mental health, and her vast experience allowed her to create her own company, Strategic Consulting, and whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas also has over 16 years serving in the political field and is a strong advocate for survivors of domestic violence, and wrote a book in 2010 addressing the issue, Perpetuating the Perpetuator, I love, I love me better than that. And whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas was co-chair of the Quality of Life Task Force in 1991 and served the duties of vice mayor from 1993 to 1999 and mayor from 1999 to 2005 in the city of Forest Park, Ohio for a total of 12 years. And whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas also served the village manager, served as the village manager of Lincoln Heights, Ohio for four years and ran for Hamilton County Commissioner in 2006, was not elected, but she kept that dream alive for 12 years. And whereas in between that time, she published another book addressing her experiences during the campaign, The Politics of Politics, Let the Games Begin. She also has a children's book and she's written which that she's written, which will be published in 2019. 
And whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas was elected in 2018 to become a Hamilton County Commissioner, this election made her the first African American Commissioner in the history of Hamilton County. In addition, she became the first African American woman Commissioner in the history of the state of Ohio. And whereas Ms. Sumro Dumas is a longstanding member of Word of Deliverance in Forest Park, where she spends her free time volunteering, now therefore the mayor, Charles H. Johnson, do hereby proclaim the day of April 1st, 2019 as Stephanie Sumro Dumas Day in the city of Forest Park and do further hereby express sincere appreciation and thanks for her distinguished service to the community. I urge all residents of the city of Forest Park to join with me in the recognition and celebration of this most significant occasion. Thank you so much. If I knew today was my day, I would have been doing some things different. <laughs> Thank you so much to the mayor. Chelsea for getting us going, and of course the city council. Um, very humbled by this um, celebration, this proclamation. Um, I still, as you said, I still live in Forest Park. Forest Park is my home. Came back to my roots where I started my political career here. And I, being a social worker, you know, you advocate for everybody. This is just another form of advocacy uh, for me. Um, and as you said, I kept the dream alive. Thank you. I didn't plan on doing this. <laughs> kept the dream alive for six years, I mean, for 12 years. And I just want to say, if you have a dream, just stay focused on it. And I knew that I had an assignment. The Lord had told me uh, that... Um, he wanted me to be down there, and I never forgot it, never lost sight of that goal. And I am working now for all of you. I want to be able to look at myself in the mirror every morning for all the promises I made when I was campaigning, all the 173,000 people that voted for me, and even uh, the ones who did not vote for me. I work just as hard for them. So. Um, I want them to be able to look at me and what my promises were, and I will fulfill them and many more. It's been um, very interesting, to say the least. Um, it's just a bigger scale, but when you've been in government, you know I can talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know, when you've been in government so, for so long, as I said, let the games begin. The games are almost the same, just some bigger money we're dealing with and bigger issues, but I'm there for you. Call me anytime, come and see me with an appointment. <laughs> but I thank you guys so much for this uh, recognition. Thank you so much. Thanks again, okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, um, before we move on to the next item of the agenda, there's, uh, there's a young man that I want to recognized because uh, I see him all over Forest Park and I see him all the time. And I guess I've been seeing him since 1993 or four when he come to the meeting. Stand up for me. I know. Tell everybody your name, please. I'm named Ronald Alexander Boots, uh, the commissioner's son. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, thank you all. At this time, we're about to move to item number four on the agenda, but at, before we do, I, as always, I will say this is at this time, uh, we, before we go into communications from the public, you're all welcome to stay, but I know, like Stephanie, most of you have other places to go and things that you need to leave for. You're not required to stay. You're welcome to stay if you want to stay, but we always take a pause at this time. And by the way, uh, just so you know, that's not a Chuck Johnson original. That's one of the things that I learned from Stephanie when she was sitting right here, is to always give that little break so people who have to leave can. So at this time, we'll take a couple of minutes for those people who might need to or want to leave. 
If that includes you, Mr. Smith. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, come back when you're ready. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you. Johnny Houston. <clears throat> okay, now we'll move to item number four, communication from the public. This is a time for citizens to comment on matters before council or to ask questions of concern to them. When recognized, please come forward to the podium, give your name and address, and then state your comments or questions. Council meetings are tape recorded for ease of transcriptions. Comments are limited to five minutes. If there's anyone from the public who would like to address council at this time, please come up, tell us who you are, and we will hear your comments. Okay, good evening. My name is Mark Price. I'm the production technician at uh, Waycross Community Media, um, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio, 45240. Okay, tonight I want to talk about the uh, summer film workshop we have every year in June. Uh, just to try to encourage uh, middle school and high schoolers to uh, come out this summer and get their hands on with um, our film workshop led by Glenn Hartong. Um, he, he's the, uh, one of the co-owners for Chili Dog Productions and um, they will create a five to 10 minute short film and uh, the students will learn the fundamentals of filmmaking. Um, students, they will create characters, they will determine the plot, um, also the storyline. Um, and this is completely using their own ideas. Um, they will also create a script and uh, with the help of our workshop leaders, which would be Tony Suarez, our production coordinator, and also myself. Um, it is a four-week program um, from June 4th to the 27th, um, held every Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 5. We have a maximum of 15 spots, and you can register online at waycross.tv forward slash summer workshop. Um, at the end of the workshop, we'll have a premiere party where uh, friends and family can gather around watching a movie and uh, we, we usually have pizza and drinks, um, and each student will receive a copy of the DVD. And the registration fee is $150 per student, and we have a total of 15 spots. Uh, if you need more information, you can call us at 513-825-2429, and our address is 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio, 45240. Any questions? I just want to say thank you so much from that last meeting we had. It was it was such a nice program, and I wanted to. I'm really happy that we get to share that with everyone. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. I had a question. Do you um, go to the schools and make the same kind of presentation to the counselors? Um, the um, we have uh, Dana, our government access coordinator. She um, she held like a fair. Uh, I forget where was it at. Um, it was at one of the high schools, and we had like booths and stuff, and she set up the camera and, you know, just try to encourage the students to, you know, or persuade them to come out. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, Chip. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now we will move to item number five, reports on standing committees. The first of these reports will be Community Development Committee, Mr. Burns. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no report. However, I do have a few comments, or one in particular. I just wanted to um, thank the council <coughs> for the acknowledgement of um, former Mayor Dumas. Uh, I thought it was very timely, uh, and her accomplishments do um, warrant something like this that we did today. So thank you. Any questions for Mr. Burns? 
Mr. Burns, I have no items listed on the agenda for you for the work session on the 8th. Do you have anything to add? <coughs> no, I do not. Next committee report is Law Committee, Councilwoman Collins. Mr. Mayor, I do not have a report from the Law Committee at this time. However, I would like to take the opportunity to, again, welcome as his, uh, tonight is his first meeting, our new city manager. Okay. Any questions for Councilwoman Collins? Councilwoman Collins, I have no items on the agenda for you for the work session. Do you have any to add? No, I do not. Next committee report is Human Resources Committee, Councilwoman Holt. I do not have a report tonight, thank you. Questions for Councilwoman Holt? <clears throat> Councilwoman Holt, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? No, I do not. Next item is Public Improvement and Facilities, Councilwoman Moore. Mr. Mayor, I do not have a report at this time. Any questions for Councilwoman Moore? Hearing none, uh, Councilwoman Moore, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? Um, no, Mr. Mayor, but I would like to um, acknowledge that the um, fire department, the We Thrive um, Forest Park, and the community partners are having a Know Your Numbers Health Fair April the 27th from 12 to 2 p.m. at um, our local Kroger's and we'll be doing um, health screenings. We'll be doing blood pressure, blood glucose, and cholesterol screenings. So we invite the residents to come out um, and um, uh, get screened. Thank you. Is, is there a time for this? Or just any, what time 12 is to 2 p.m. 12 to 2. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Councilwoman Moore, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? I do not. Next committee is Public Safety Committee. Councilwoman Nuss. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I do not have a report. I just have a comment. Um, we do have an open uh, police officer position. That recruitment window will be closing on May 16th. Thank you. Any questions for Councilwoman Nuss? Hearing none, Councilwoman Nuss, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? I do not. Next committee report, Ways and Means Committee, Councilwoman Herbie. Yes, I just wanted to make residents aware of the fact that in um, about mid-April, they'll be seeing a, um, a, a, the beginnings of demolition on the North Point Plaza Shopping Center for the unused portion of that. So you will be seeing some of the redevelopment that will be going on in that corridor, and that's all. Thank you. Any questions for Councilwoman Herbie? Hearing none. Uh, <clears throat> Councilman Herbie, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? Yes, Next committee report in on government relations and communications. Um, it's my committee. I have no report. I would answer any questions if there are any. Hearing none, we will move to item number six, the mayor's report. Uh, <clears throat> just a couple of things. One, uh, as we're now into spring either officially or unofficially. Uh, construction on the new school site will pick up. Uh, traffic will probably increase uh, as well. So I would caution everybody to just um, be extremely careful uh, when driving through that, that area as it will become more, <clears throat> more congested. Also, uh, with the spring, unfortunately, not just in Forest Park, but nationally, once the weather starts to get warm, there's far more chances of um, people committing crimes, uh, spe specifically burglaries, break-ins, uh, what a lot of the things that we, we would refer to as nuisance crimes. So just be more watchful. Uh, things like make sure you don't leave your garage doors open when you are carrying your packages from your car in and out. Uh, there's a tendency to leave the windows cracked, especially on the back, so that we can get that breeze that, will, that comes with summer. But one of the things that we have, that our police department is always cautioning us of is it only takes a small opening for someone who is up to no good to make that, uh, to use that as primary way of entering your property. And <clears throat> when you are, and this is more to the ladies and it's not a sexist remark, it's just an observation. When you're out shopping, 
there is a tendency to leave your purse in your shopping cart while you walk down the aisle, over to the next aisle to pick up an item. But I want to assure you, you can't run as fast as that person who's going to grab your purse out of your bag. <laughs> so if you got to go to the next aisle, take it all with you. If you got to go down to the end of the aisle or midway, take it with you. Let's not assist people in taking what we have. And also, to the general population in the city of Forest Park, one of the things we always ask people to do, and I always try to remind our citizens to do, especially at your homes, if, as we go around and look, one of the things that we find, almost everyone has a light on the front of their property. Almost nobody has a light on the backs of their property. I don't know why we would assume that the person is going to break in in the front where the lights are. Get, have your property lighted, especially on the back where nobody, where you normally are not at night. Even if you have visitors who are coming, very rarely are they gonna go to the back door. They're gonna come to the front. But we, we have a tendency to overlook lighting up the back. Motion lights, whatever kind you got, use it. That would end my report. I'll answer any questions if there are any or try to. Thank you. Next report, item number seven, city manager's report. Mr. Jones. Well, we started our day today for the first day, so uh, it's a very nice meetings with everyone, and uh, uh, staff was very attentive, and, uh, and we're working forward with uh, planning for the upcoming year. So uh, that went very well today and was well attended. I believe all of the um, council and depart or the departmental reports have been filed properly and are available with the clerk. Other than that, I'd be glad to answer any questions. Any questions for the city manager? Hearing none, thank you, sir. Move to item number eight, other reports. First of those being law director, Mr. Wyckoff. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to report that since the last meeting, I've been doing some work for the police department. Uh, including preparation of promissory note for money it is owed on a uh, from a gun dealer here in town. Also, I had communication with the uh, Dearborn Superior Court regarding our claim for property damage on the uh, police vehicle that was taken. And then I've um, prepared, and I'll be filing tomorrow, a petition for disposal of uh, illegal drugs that uh, are no longer needed for evidentiary purposes. Uh, that is the end of my report, unless anybody has a question. Any questions for our law director? Hearing none, thank you, sir. Next report is Clerk of Council, Mrs. Dirks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to report the resolution numbers 10-2019 through 12-2019 were posted as required, and that concludes my report. Yeah. Any questions for Mrs. Dirks? Hearing none, um, thank you, Mr. Dirksen. We will now move to item number nine, new business. First one is a motion, uh, an appointment of, of uh, motion with Mr. Burns. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to appoint uh, Mr. David Aronson and Mr. Lewis Bunton to the Community Reinvestment Area Count Housing Council for a term expiring April 4th, 2022. Second. It's been moved and second that we appoint Mr. David Aronson and Dr. Lewis Biden to the Community Reinvestment Area Housing Council. Is there any discussion? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As a result of establishing the Community Reinvestment Area, the city is required by statute to establish a housing council supporting the Community Reinvestment Area. Um, in order to comply with that, the motion that was just set forth um, has been presented. The individuals um, named are currently members of the Planning Commission, which is a good fit um, from an experience perspective um, as it relates to all the laws and requirements for building. Uh, and with that, I would urge the um, passage of my motion. Thank you. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And I will be passing around a form that is uh, required that each of us must sign uh, and that th this have to be filed. Um, so before you, before ap after we've adjourned, before you leave, make sure that you sign this, this form, basically just basically signifying that what we just voted for, that you, we voted for this. Next item on agenda, item B, another motion, Mr. Burns. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move um, that the city send a joint letter of support for the Community Action Agency and Legal Aid um, to provide, for their programs to provide relief and support for eviction prevention for residents of Hamilton County. Second. It's been moved and second that we provide a support letter in support of the joint effort of the CAA and Legal Aid to provide relief and support for eviction prevention for cities of, uh, for city residents of Hamilton County. Is there a discussion on that one, Mr. Burns? Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as many of you know, the Community Action Agency is probably one of the leading advocates for uh, community support and engagement in various ways throughout the county. Um, this letter is a, an effort for both CAA and the legal aid to um, understand the level of support from different communities for the effort that they're in, endeavoring in. And that's to prevent um, individual eviction, evictions from, for homeowners. Uh, you know, as you know, the rents as well as rents and wages have not maintained themselves in, in, in parity. So as a result, there are still individuals in Hamilton County who sometimes fall um, through the cracks with related to eviction. The effort that um, this partnership will, will endeavor is to fill that, that gap so that individuals who are in danger of uh, eviction can seek help and potentially see, ha receive aid to at least give them some opportunity for relief and prevent potentially being evicted from their home. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there any further business to come before the body? Any further business to come before the body? Hearing none, the meeting is adjourned.